We are becoming more and more concerned about foreign interference in our electoral process. We now fear the destructive capacity of fake news on security issues, health matters, our political leaders. But for years and years, there has been disinformation targeting one very specific topic, women rights. And it is a mistake that this has not been considered to be a serious problem. Because gendered disinformation not only has the power to severely harm women's lives, but it is also a clear and constant attack on the foundations of our societies. Russia is today spreading lies about Ukrainian people, the war, Europe's involvement. But Russia has long taken an active role in promoting dangerous disinformation based on so-called traditional narratives. This is meant to fuel hate against women, minorities, LGBTI people, both online and offline. These mobilizations against us all across Europe receive financing from anti-gender groups within the EU, from US Christian right-wing groups and Russian oligarchs. And do not be mistaken, this is part of a broader political strategy to undermine equal participation in our democracy, European Union itself, the world we want to live in, a world of emancipation, gender equality, freedom and fundamental rights. It is a strategy to put each and every one of us in a box where we are to stay for all our lives and accept an authoritarian, ultra-conservative way of life. They first attack women, LGBTI people, Muslim, people of color, our minorities. But in the end, once they have created threats that silence all of these peoples, they come for the others.